Mike84 here back again. Pretty much we're going to do a leather unboxing and review of Asus P8Z77V Pro slash Thunderbolt. This is a replacement for this recent video I did with the, uh, the P8Z77V Pro. And it had a. It, Actually, the Realtek AC9092 was actually a DOA. It was messed up. And this is the replacement. Actually, um, Fryzotronics was happily enough to give me the same price for this board. This is actually $239.99 instead of a, a little bit more like $259. So this thing dropped price like $20. Bucks. It's really good. Uh, Aces, you need to get yourself together. Seriously, the fill rate for these motherboards are getting way too high. Um, but anyway, get, let's just get down to business with this. This is the, the new board. I really did not need Thunderbolt, but for the price, it was good enough. But I'm not going to really use it eventually until it gets better. But this is the board. It's just pretty much the same thing. Um, has a Thunderbolt port right back of below the the Realtek AC92 uh, um, chipset right below it. Um, pretty good on there um, it's uh, there's very good supporting for overclocking features um, it, it's three uh, PCI Express 3.0 capable um, let's see um, well, yeah Thunderbolt port this right here uh, the Wi-Fi go um, reminded the last video same thing is pretty good um, Easy flashback means uh, you can go back to the original one. They finally did that with the previous generation was stupid and annoying. Um, now you can go back to it. Um, the 3.0 boost technology they have is pretty good. SLI, AMD Crossfire, Z77 chipset, uh, second generation and third generation um, Sandy Bridge, Ivy Bridge processor, 22 and um, 32 nanometer processors. 1155 um, Intel Boost, uh, actually, Intel Smart Response Technology, DT, uh, DTS Ultra 2 PC, uh, HDMI, and the, and the Virtualization MVP. They change it up. There's just too much specs of this. I just did a recent video. I just want to show you what it is. Let's get this going. Here's the motherboard. I'll show you the accessories first. I'm not gonna really go. Um, anyway, you get one, two, you get three six gigabit per second cables, three gigabit per second cables. Both of them are 90, uh, 90 angle uh, cables. These are pretty good, both of them your your Wi-Fi go I'm not gonna open this I'm, I don't think I'm gonna use it but it might become a handy eventually um, your SLI cable um, this one look, look kinda crappy a little bit um, your PS2 uh, what is it ESATA cable with a USB header put this on the back of the motherboard your Wi-Fi Go antenna goes to the actual adapter. Your actual very nice label uh, IO shield plate. Um, I'm not gonna use that. My case doesn't allow me to do that. Your accessory cables, uh, Wi-Fi Go card, Wi-Fi uh, extra yeah. exclusive features. Um, quick, uh, Q, quick disconnects for you. These come really handy. So you want to damage the motherboard ones if you want to jump it or anything. Your um, the latest uh, Asus PAZ6 PAZ77V Pro uh, slash Thunderbolt set, uh, drivers use these because I'm gonna do that right now a little bit. Your user guide comes in handy having this. These are, like really expensive to have, but anyway, um, that's really about it. I wish they make these SLI bridges a little bit more better looking. 
Um, but anyway, let's just get to the motherboard. Alright, this is this motherboard is pretty much the same thing like the um, the Z the V version is the same thing, only difference is the ports. Only difference from this. And okay, let's go. Eleven fifty five socket. So thirty two nanometer processors. Twenty two nanometer. Um it's pretty pretty good. Um I love this this whole heat sink look right here. Um, my theme is blue. It's gonna match my case and everything. Um, 32 dim slots of uh, DDR3, and it's pretty much you're gonna need. I only use eight G skilled Aries memory, but uh, I would use to occupy these two black ones right here. Um, ideal location. Of the 24 pin right here, your memo cable on right here, and the PCB is actually black, pretty good. Uh, one other thing people are trying to do is to get modified uh, water water blocks for here to here. Just remember, if you do this, you avoid your warranty for your motherboard. If you're gonna get something very high end, this is more of a conventional high end board, but more to the consumer size accessories. Um, it's really hard to find a theme board that you want to do in blue, so this is kind of in the middle. Um, I'm going to show you two. Very idle, like, it's just, it looks very beefy and very, like, you can overclock with it quite good. Ideal location of the 8 pin, um, ATX power, really good. And that's the, the cell bridge or nor bridge, it was whatever it is together. Um, it's together right here, it looks pretty good like the theme of this part okay the slots I'll show you the slots right here so this is the problem I ran into what I wanted to do so apparently this slot used this slot used to be up here and they reversed it now to make it further away so see right here if you're gonna try to do SLI for water cooling be very careful you're gonna have to get a, a three-way slot card um, I it was able to get that and it came out pretty good so two different versions of it Okay, you have Peace Express 1, 2, right here, X4. Yep. You have Peace Express 3.0, 3.0. This is a, a Peace Express, but the slot's converted to X16, I think. Let's see. And there's a location right here. It says here that Ivory Bridge CPU is required for enable Peace Express 3 slot. For more details, read chapter two. Um, well, ran into a problem here, so I'll read this in the manual a little bit later on. I'll remove that. I don't really need a sticker. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna use these two slots for her. The blue and the white. I'm not gonna use this slot. I really don't care for it. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's see. And let's see. Let me let me count how many fan headers they have. The uh, 4.0 PWM um, one two. Let's see. Three four five six seven Five, uh, five PWM fan headers. Should be another one right here. Apparently, they might have removed it. The other one has six for maybe a reason. So, one, two. One, two. Three, four. Five. That's plenty enough for what you need it for anyway. Um, so the pro version was a little bit better, but this one's downgraded, but it's up better. Right here, <coughs> excuse me, right here, is that's where the Wi-Fi go, and you have a screw right here mounted on there. Okay. 
um, you have your indication light when it's on. I want to make sure this is this um, lit up pretty good. That means that it's on and all that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you have your AC97 HD audio. Um, you have your SPDF um, slash uh, out. Your TPM um, reader. I don't know what the hell is this. You have one. You have your firewire um, header for your internal in the front or in the back. You have one, two, three, four, four. Uh, USB uh, 2.0 internal headers. You have your um, BIOS flashback. Then you have your clear CMOS battery right here. You have two of them. Jumper 2. Normal and clear AC and then clear DRAM. You have your quick disconnects at actual uh, cube right here to jump it. And you have your TP and EPU right here. And what's this port here? This is the Qualcomm. Um, I have no clue what was that for here. And let's, let's see. Memo K, like I think I set it up here. Memo K is right here. Uh, your USB 3.0 header, the 20 pin or 19. I'm trying to remember. I'm really tired. And then you have. Okay, here it is. The you have three three uh, SATA three uh, connection of the the onboard. This is from Intel. This is for Intel. Realtek is the blue one right here, and this is a third party one. I'm trying to remember. I think it's Intel Realtek, and this is from Aces right here. You probably use these four for occupying for your hard drives, and these were probably for um, external SATA like we got to do. And let me show you the connectivity for the the ports. Okay, here it is. So here is your uh, USB 3.0. That's one, two, three, four, and you have uh, one header um, inside. Um, be very careful too. You might bent the actual pins on that one too. You have your uh, DVI, VGA, and HDMI. SPDF and you have your USB, uh, not USB, uh, PS2 key uh, keyboard mouse. You have a leather um, USB 3.0 right here, Gigaland 1110, 7.1 uh, surround sound, and this little port, oh, let me see, this little port right here. This is Thunderbolt. Um, it's a new feature. It was uh, Introduced this year actually it was actually last year. So this is they start making the boards now more real time So that is Thunderbolt. It's a very small port It's supposed to be faster than SATA or SATA uh, USB 3.0 this port that they have here is Supposed to be extremely fast. It's still far in the new but overall we'll find out how much it will, will go and I forgot to tell you too uh, the DV, uh, HDMI, the DVI, and the VG, I think I will repeat myself just to make sure. But overall, this is a very good board. Hopefully that they don't have no audio problems. Um, hopefully. But anyway, um, you guys have any questions, any comments, please leave a, any, any, any questions. Anything, please let me know down below. I forgot to tell you guys, if you guys are going to start modifying some things, like the removing these heat sinks or... It does void your warranty from Aces. It has a three-year warranty with them. Um, be patient with them. If you're going to get warranty from Aces, if you're going to get a motherboard, if you're, go to your local uh, retailer store to go buy something like this. Because sometimes you might have a one, you might have a messed up pin here. Um, get the warranty. Protect yourself. Go in person. Try to do what you do because sometimes they might screw you over like me but I got lucky and I protect myself and I'm gonna keep going and I still trust Fry's Electronics here in the Bay Area where I'm at but uh, hopefully this will keep going alright you guys just come my kitty for us you guys a little bit later um, you have any questions leave a comment alright